Right, I haven't videoed for a while because I've just been climbing up another massive hill. Rickety rockety one, very wheezy today. I just wonder what that mist is. It smells of burning. I've actually got a wheeze. Hear that? I struggle to get up here. I haven't had a wheeze for a long, long time. I'm just wondering whether that, that's air pollution. I reckon it is. Hopefully it's been good for my lungs doing these two big hills today. Two massive hills on the other side of the gorge. Nearly at the top now. It's a long way down, believe me. Oh, very long way down. Oh, but it wasn't windy. Oh, no. Oh. I'm not going to do the gorge, actually. I'm going down close to where I came. I'm going on a path and most people somebody coming. Right, hold on a minute. Okay, I'm coming a slightly different way. I'm decided not to go on the top of the gorge because it's very windy. Um, I'm going to go down following this track here and I'll join up with the path I did yesterday when I was coming back from Draycott. I don't know whether you'll hear anything coming at the camera. Basically the weather has turned horrible. I would have come out in totally different clothes, um, well, mainly trousers and I would have brought my waterproofs which act as windshields. But it's all right because I, I do like to go around all the different areas I know as well, which is like um, Black Rock and uh, I, I decided to look at all the trees and the vegetation and just notice how there's going to be no autumn golds. There ain't going to be a display of autumn. It's all gone dead already. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I've noticed. Now Draycott Sykes will be right over there where I was yesterday. Right over there. Red Knoll ahead. What a difference to yesterday. The images I did yesterday in Crooks Peak. Totally different day. How can our weather be so variable? It's amazing. And they promised blue sky to at least 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Didn't happen. It was gone by 11. And whatever's at that grey cloud, it smells. It's got an odour. Yeah, it's got an odour. So I thought I'd just video me coming down. It's going to be windy. The first thing to come into view will be Cheddar St Andrew's Church, which I'll just zoom into from here. That's like a lovely big zoom in there, isn't it? That's in Cheddar. As I come over the brow of the hill. Over there, Nylon Mound. which has been done in the, within the last 12 months. So we're walking down with grey skies. It's good to see, um, I can even see Dustinbury Tor in the far, far distance. Very, very faint. Um, but it's good to see the same scenery when it's grey. You know, we can't always seem to add filters and brighten it all up. Why? 
This is what it's like now, today, on the 22nd of September 2020. <sighs> you do get cows in this field. I think it's a longhorn variety. But I think I spotted them over, over that way. Yeah, there's a path I quite often take. We, we, we should have been a bit further on and then down by a big fence. I don't think I've done this one for quite a while. This will take me down and then uh, we'll have a look at the clock. Yeah, it's five, nearly five to one, so we've got an hour to kill and we can wander around Cheddar, see what we're doing it. We won't get down for that one o'clock bus. So we can just, it'll be um, less windy as well when we go to it in a minute. I haven't really followed the whole of these different routes going round. I'm going to go down into this one. Because I think that one will pick up a route I normally come down, where the fence is over there. We'll see, we might have to join up with it in a minute. Yeah, to put my jumper back on, it's got quite nippy. I'm not freezing cold or anything like that, but it's uh, definitely cold compared to yesterday. It was baking hot. I said, you can't guarantee anything in our country. It's never, it, you never have been able to. It's not a new thing with England. No, it's not new. But look at all the trees and bushes. Look at all the bracken, dead already. Everything's dead already. It's absolutely amazing. Now over there I can see the top of a goat's head. Look at that. He's poking his head up. Oh, he's gone now. Typical. Here! Goaty! Come on, let me get a picture of you. Where are you? Goaty! Come on! There's one in there. Well, there's one hiding. Look, there's his horns. That's a big goat, that is. Do you see his horns? They're in there having a feast. They don't care if the bracken's green or, or brown. The rain's due, by the way. They said rain about two. Well, it's one o'clock now. Anyway, I don't mind doing this because basically, I would have only I would have gone up into my local wood, Wilbury, if I hadn't come here. Upworth Acres, which is what I passed through yesterday. Like I said, I've got an hour for the next bus, so yesterday I'll wait it off. Hour! I'll wait it off. Hour! Just so zoom in on those goats again. And there's one up there, look. Looks like a panda goat. That's quite a big one. Yeah, he's quite big. Look at him. Big long beard, look. I'll take a picture over and out. Right, I'm just plodding. I love walking down these old country lanes, you know. I've, uh, got half an hour before the bus so I'm literally plodding plodding um, it's not been the day I planned it's true and I bet you the Sun will come out now and it'd be really nice now that's how the weather plays tricks on you but I've come down I came down here yes this time not this time yesterday later yesterday 
<coughs> but I, I always enjoy my walks. If I had to change plan, it doesn't matter. If that walk will keep, and I will do it another time. If I'd gone out a bit more prepared, I'd worn my trousers, for example, and taken my waterproofs. If I had done that, then I probably would have done it. But the wind was a bit fierce up there as well. I don't like too much wind. I never have done. So this is a bit of deja vu, everyone. Although I've done it loads of times. Because I've done it in less than 24 hours, twice now. Um, it's, it's, it's weird. I'll get the two walks model up, you know. Tell the truth, I will. I didn't need three bottles of water either. I carted up three bottles of water up that hill. Twice. Two hills. <laughs> and, um, I need enough. You know, I need enough. I need enough carted them up there. I used to have one of those, Virginia Creeper. When we lived in Reading, I had one. But the worst weather is to come, apparently. I could do with a couple of days break, give my legs a little bit more rest, actually. I could do with doing that. But I thought today was going to be a bit like yesterday, but it was going to change in the afternoon. I didn't realise it was going to be cold and windy and unfriendly. And with the rain due, apparently. Now, I'm walking along. When it's quarter two, that means, what's that say? Recent, oh I can't read that. Right, it's half past, 25 two. In ten minutes, in theory, the bus should be at Westbury Submendip. A quarter of an hour after that, it should be almost a cheddar. So, <sighs> right, I've just come down. Lynch Hill, I think this is called, or Lynch Lane. The old uh, cottage here. I've come back up through that way once. When I was, when I'd been to Nyland Mound, I, I got went to Nyland Mound, I got on a bus, got off, walked to Nyland Mound, And I walked back and I came up a nice, lovely, lovely country lane. It was very peaceful, it was just one or two cars. I always want to go that way for some reason, but it's not the turning. I reckon Nylon Mound must be nearly as big as um, Banwell Hill. Banwell Hill for it, I would say. Uh, I took some pictures of these flowers yesterday on the wall. Yeah, I took pictures of these. Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Lovely. Can't 
God, I remember the first time, a long time ago now, I first came up this hill exploring. I remember that. There used to be an entrance there, let me see where it was in there. It's lovely, lovely little cottages here. Yeah, that's when I first found Lynch Lane and I explored. Just exploring. Yeah. Lovely little cottages. Worth a fortune now. Just used to be ordinary people's homes in the past. I'm going to turn off now, everyone. <laughs>